though, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? I guess it's gonna be fitting if we start this video off with some GTA 5 heist music playing in the background, okay? What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, is okay? Everybody's clowning right now. Everybody's going crazy right now because the fires have reignited, okay? We got the Star Wars situation and all the gamers are now coming together to clown on this game. Of course, we're still due for the gay BBC Samurai situation. Assassin's Creed is due for November, but Star Wars is now coming out. This game, Concord, got more uh, pronouns and player counts, so that situation is raging as well. What is going on in gaming right now, man? And you got the homie Asman Gold beefing big time. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders because. <laughs> You see, right now, everybody's like beefing right now. Suckers are beefing, beefing, beefing. And my homeboys out there, my gamer bros out there, they're like, hey, we're tired of people walking all over us, okay? This is how we're gonna, like, fight back. And yeah, you can see, right? Like, look at that armor, bro. Look at that gamer suit on. So brother got the gamer suit on, right? Brother got the beard. That's like armor 200 right there. That's like unbreakable armor right there, Bruh. okay? With that spirit, with this uh, information in mind, let's actually get right into it. I don't think you guys are right ready for this one clench your butt cheeks boys roll it so this is like a cinematic here yeah he wouldn't but he told me you could mod my speeder uh yeah is not that character from concord yeah of course i've got every part you no, can isn't that character from concord he said damn bro that's literally the worst thing you can ever say to a video game developer right there. My guy just cooked them alive, bro. Not Damn. fat enough, I can tell. Not I mean, fat mag enough, yeah. fins, aftermarket Damn. sensors, booster coils. How about a hydro Wait for it. Oh. Uh, no. You just said every part I could want. I mean, I could slap the repulsor on there now. That's no problem, but without some good Durasteel struts, it'd shake loose in a day or two. Yeah, he wouldn't. But he told me you... It's really sad, bro. And these are the people that say AI looks bad. This looks mm. like an AI from 2021. Like, Holy. you know, if she pulled her hand up, she'd have like nine fingers. Damn, that is crazy, bro. Holy man. Yo, tranquilo, papi, right there, man. This this is insane. And you're not gonna believe this one. So the homie, apparently, Geeks and Gamers came out of... Before I show you this clip right here, look at that, man. <laughs> this is like how she looks in-game. And the actual actress that they made this character off of, she actually is gorgeous in real life. She is quite pretty in real life. And they done her this dirty, man. I Yeah, man, at this point, like, that actress need to sue Ubisoft, bro. I don't think she... she she will though i don't think she will but and even i believe even if she wants to ubisoft probably would have had like a clever clause in the contract that would say that you cannot shoot us you cannot shoot us this is absolutely absolute insanity it's like it's on the same level as the yasuke character right where we learned that yasuke in real life was not gay and ubisoft made him gay they made a dead man gay though you know what i'm saying like if he was gay in real life then makes sense to make him talked about a million times but the homie mr maddie play came out before i show you the next clip he says that i reviewed star wars outlaws and i'm bummed to say it didn't jizz me uh or, or jive with me oh my bad Bruh. jive with me as a massive star wars fan and drop it a level motion capture constantly forced and frustrating stealth segments without the proper uh, proper mechanics to support it huge huge missed opportunity and i hate the fact that every time like that this uh, ass grok comes on huge missed opportunity with the reputation system that is extremely easy to manipulate nick she's cute and the world look pretty huge though yeah and he shared this gameplay as well right look at that he shares that and you see like the ai the gameplay level right coming up it's coming up so you got this in the game look at that ai ai is completely baffled completely confused as to what's going on damn homie damn this is like playstation 2 game bro <laughs> There we go, man. Oh God. PlayStation 2 level. And I was seeing like another clip as well where you see like drag on and stuff like that. It's coming up. It's coming up. I'll show you here, okay? Shout out to the homie Geeks and Gamers. Roll Star Wars it. Outlaws is here, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a complete and total disaster on every single level. Who could see this coming? Who in the world could see this coming? Oh, I could see this coming because I was right. And I'm not one to brag ever. But I think that I deserve a little bit of credit right here for being well ahead of the curve. Now, I've been clipped multiple times on this particular video I'm about to show you. 
But of course I get clipped all the time. And the clip is to make it known that this guy is a racist and a sexist. But I can actually explain the whole clip. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to watch a little bit of this. But this is from Geeks and Gamers Daily from w over a year ago. Okay. Okay. And let's listen to a few things that I had to say. Damn. In hashtags, reaction, sh uh, reaction, section, but I go crazy right now. Star Wars Outlaws, the first ever open world Star Wars game. Now, maybe they haven't been around for a um, while. I'm, I can remember uh, playing I an not... open world Star Wars game back in the 1990s, Star Wars Galaxies. So not exactly the first ever, but interesting claim. Okay. I have not seen this yet. I am not interested based on the fact that you're already presenting a woman of color lead character to me. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm already uh, whoa, out. Whoa, Just get whoa, ready. Hey. Thrilled to be bringing K Vest. Cutting scoundrels so much. I'm already out. Why? Female voice. I'm done. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. No, go ahead. You. The Empire. They're everywhere. Wait for it! Wait for it! But the world here... ...belongs to the Syndicates. Lucas Games! Lucas Film Games! I wanna survive. Oh. So that's He's like the badass the in the bar? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Listen, I do think there's going to be a lot of people that love this little fucking animal. <laughs> yeah, they, they always do that, right? Like, whenever they have, like, terrible shows, they always try to make sure there's, like, a hot woman as a host, right? They do that. Look at the recent Summer Game Fest. Uh, I mean, we don't even have to go back to the Summer Game Fest. L look at Gamescom, right? Yeah, Gamescom, right? Exactly. A and whenever there's a game that is this piss poor, they would add, like, a cute puppy in it, okay? A cute animal, okay? A cute animal. A, a cat, maybe, or something like that. That would, uh... Just, you know, they know that the game is not gonna bring in the emotional factor in, so might as well have like a cute puppy in the game or a creature that is uh, looking like that, right? So yeah, I mean, they know what they're doing, man. They know what they're doing. So, listen, I've been, the, 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 the people that hate me, uh, they have clipped that out. They're like, look at that. He just dismissed it based on it being a woman, a woman of color. No, I dismiss it based on the fact that it's a Lucasfilm project. And the fact that they are presenting identity politics at the forefront. Because if you know anything about Lucasfilm, this is what they've told you. They have told you time and time again. They have never said, like, we're interested in George's vision. We're interested in the Star Wars fan base. We're interested in telling good stories. They've told you, we're interested in representation. When yeah. that's at the forefront of the project and you are putting it all in the fans' faces... You know that the project is going to ult- Oh, look at that, man. Literally PlayStation 2. It is as though, okay, I wouldn't say PlayStation 2. I would say, like, if PlayStation 2 had a PS2 Pro, Bruh. which it didn't, this looks like PS2 Pro gameplay, bro. Holy, man. Damn, man. Like, y'all suck as a crazy. How many years y'all took, man? Ubisoft is a billion-dollar company, damn it. Billion-dollar company, and we're in the year 2024! Can a brother just get, like, a good game? Oh, oh, oh my god, what is a living? What is the living crap is that, bro? What is this? What is that? Damn! Damn! Ultimately, and also, what is that? Damn! Of a lot of problems along the way. Because giving a good game, giving a good story, giving a good experience is not their priority. Their priority is to push identity politics. And that's exactly why I had my criticism. Not because it was a woman, not because it was just a female character in general, it's because it's a Lucasfilm project, and Lucasfilm has shown us time and time again that that is their priority. Now, we've got all of these clips to just to show how bad this game is. And this game is this bad because the emphasis was on social justice propaganda and not actually giving you a good game. Yeah, yeah. he wouldn't. But he told me you could mod my speeder. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we just saw that reaction. We're gonna just skip it to the next part or when you okay, your like, property you? with this type of budget and the price that they're asking people to pay. This is unacceptable. But they don't $100. care about quality. They don't. It's a it's a hundred dollars game, bro. Crap, man. This is what the actual hell, man. Gamers deserve better, man. We deserve better than that, bruh. It's 2024. There is no excuse for that. The game's so buggy at launch. And okay, yeah, one or two bug here and there makes sense, right? Like, no game 
ever is gonna be 100 percent bug free okay yeah that's uh that's hard but when the game is looking like this filled with bugs and on top you're charging people hundred dollars and on top you are pushing the woke identity politics as well right and then you have the audacity to say that well get comfortable by not owning our games ubisoft did say that okay be comfortable by not owning our games some crap like that they did say that so they always get clowned on by them uh, by gamers uh, nowadays right so i mean what do you guys expect and charging people hundred dollars and then you're like okay hundred dollars too much that's a too much money pay us like twenty dollars a month uh, and, and get us or get our ubisoft play subscription right miss me with that bro get mama with that bruh get mama dog don't care about your experience they only care about the messaging oh uh no you just said every part i could want uh, no. i mean i could slap the repulsor on there now that's no problem but without some good dirt still struts it'd shake loose in a day or two Yeesh, and it only gets Jeez. worse because here you have this moment right here. Mr. Matt plays. Oh, and the AI is a big problem in this game. Let's check out the AI um, right here. Remember how cool those were in Arkham Asylum? Oh, that game was light years ahead. There was another moment that I saw where you see uh, a, a massive glitch. Uh, so far, I have not seen it in this video. Maybe now. Oh, yeah, this one, this one, this one. Look at that. Wow. Now, now here's the thing, though. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest here, right? Yeah, people are clowning on this moment as well, and people are clowning on all the glitches that are going down. But let's be fair here. If this game was actually good, right, graphically, story-wise, and generally speaking, and then people saw that glitch, people would be joking about it, but it wouldn't be, like, people... It wouldn't be people clowning on them. People... Because, like, gamers understand that, yeah, like, there's gonna be a glitch or two here and there, and, yeah, they're probably gonna fix it later on right but it's ubisoft we're talking about how many times how many times we gotta get games like that man how many games we have gotten like this and how many times we have seen crap like that and how many times they have give us that day one patch pill oh day one patch is gonna fix everything guys day one patch day one patch okay yeah even if the day one patches fixes that glitch gamers are not stupid okay even if uh, even if day one patch fixes it what's gonna fix this what's gonna fix that yeah nobody can fix this anymore bruh nobody can uh, except for maybe the modders right like maybe modern modders on the pc they're gonna fix it but like damn man damn what are we talking about like look at this bland ass game bruh damn man and when you got mr maddie plays uh actually clowning on the game and in the video he said that shout out to ubisoft for giving me the code bruh <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna give you next time, bro. Just just because you said that. But we over we over here at Stud Muffin Nations. We over at Gamer uh, Federation. I would like to salute Mr. Maddie Plays. I would like to salute Mr. Maddie Plays for being honest and uh, you know being honest essentially not even taking the gamer's side he's taking the gamer's side which is good but it's not even about that just being honest right not even taking the gamer's side it's about being honest all right so yeah man shout out to him but uh -oh, wait for it you can tell what the focus of a project is in terms of how it's presented in the beginning this is the whole focus behind star wars outlaws is to push Identity politics. That's Damn. it. A handful of players have discovered another ridiculously bad bug in Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws that sees another. a player character, K Vess, slide across the game's map after attempting a stealth assassination. And that's the clip we just showed you right there. Uh, uh, pump the brakes, though. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. A stealth assassination. And that's the clip we just showed you right there. Star Wars Outlaws needs a few patches to deal with the bug and it's kind of hard to do stealth when stuff like this happens. I don't think it needs like a few patches, my guy. It needs a few billion patches, bruh. What are we talking about? You think the few patches is gonna fix this abomination of a game? Nah, man, the AI is brain dead in this game. An actual AI would have made this game better than these devs ever could, bro. Like, what is going on? They got billions and billions of dollars. They got 2024 technology. They got all the money in the world. I mean, technically not all the money in the world. Ubisoft is losing money big time, but it, like, dog, 
<laughs> this game is not gonna save your guys' reputation. This game is not gonna save you. You need to put out like actual bangers out there, bruh. Like, damn, man. Why are you going crazy like that? Yeah, I mean, Dustborn, Concord, now having more pronouns than players, actually, right? If this was not less than enough, maybe the, the, the gay BBC Samurai situation is gonna be less than enough for them. Maybe the Star Wars situation is gonna be big enough lesson for them, right? I, I want, yeah, man, like, it's gonna be really, really interesting to see how much uh, this game uh, sells, right? If it sells well, then I guess it's over for gamers in a way. Not necessarily over, over, but for a time being, it would, it's over. What I mean by this is that they're still gonna make sure that they can get unfinished games out there. They're gonna still make, because they know gamers gonna buy, right? If they, they know gamers gonna buy. Uh, in terms of Dustborn and Concord, I have to agree. Yes, people literally boycotted them, but you guys gotta you guys gotta understand that there is no like fan loyalty with any of these projects there's no fan affiliation or there's affinity right is that the word would that be appropriate to say it here i'm not totally sure but but yeah like for example right like call of duty star wars assassin's creed these games are known are known worldwide and prior in previous years they actually had really good uh games and good settings good games and uh, you know, it's a massive series. People are familiar with it. The familiarity, right? That's where we add. So even if they put out like one or two duds, people are like, yeah, whatever, right? Like we're just gonna buy. But but like, damn man, <laughs> what happens when you keep dropping duds after duds? Sick is still buy it. Uh, yeah, right now it's pretty. F it's like 50-50 though. That's what I'm seeing right now. But it's gonna be really interesting to see how well these games do because in terms of Dustborn and Concord, people. Yeah, don't care about them, right? Because, yeah, A, filled with woke politics. B, games looking really, really bad. Especially that Dustborn game. I mean, damn, bro. Like, what are we talking about, right? Less than... Couldn't even get more than 100 players on it, bro. Like, damn, homie. Damn, bro. Like, and suckers are... And this is how they're looking like, all right? Dustborn, right? They're seething. They're coping and seething right now. But in terms of Star Wars and Assassin's Creed, these games all be looking trash. But they they have a lot of fan following. They have a very big fan following. And yes, a lot, majority of the fans, at least on the internet, right, are clowning on the game. Deservingly so. But are people going to buy this game? Are, are people going to choose to not buy the game? Time will tell us. And if it sells like crazy, then it's going to go over for the gamers, right? Then they're going to be like, yeah, man, gamers are just all talk, uh, no action, right? So if you really think that you deserve better than this, abyss th than this crap, whether you care for the woke politics in the games or not look at that damn like look at that bro holy crap like look at the graphics like and, and i get it graphics are not everything but come on now man like make sure the game does not look like a playstation 2 playstation 3 game man like what are we talking about playstation 3 games have been better than this junk though uh, yeah I, I mean if you think we deserve <laughs> if, if you think that we deserve better than this man what with what with your, with your wallets, bro? But wait for there. it. There, um, and people are finding all types, all types. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Um, there's so many bugs in this game, and it's going to continue. Like, broken game after broken game after broken game gets released by these studios, and so, I guess in some summer. cases you can forgive them. But in other cases, it's unforgivable. This is completely unforgivable. You have IGN. I believe IGN gave this like a, a 7 out of 10 or something like that. Um, because, of course, IGN is going to do that. But Star Wars Outlaws is yet uh, the latest in a long line of Lucasfilm disasters. And uh, IGN said something along the lines of, yeah, the game is kind of mid, you know, say like I'm paraphrasing. I, I don't remember what they exactly said, but they did clown a little bit, right? Just, yeah, like <laughs> they're not going to go full clown mode, right? <laughs> they're not going to do that, man. They're not going to do that. But they clowned on the game. They ultimately said that the game isn't that good, but 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. What? 7 out of 10 is a good game, damn it! This thing is crazy, man. This thing is crazy. And uh, it's because they don't truly care. Like, Lucasfilm's talking points more than likely to Ubisoft was, hey, the focus needs to be we need a strong, diverse woman mm -hmm. to lead this game. Mm -hmm. And we need to show how tough she is and how she can handle her own business. And she don't need no man. 
That was the focus. It wasn't that, hey, we need to have a game set in right. this time frame um, that ties to this storyline that doesn't uh, you know, contradict this pre-existing uh, lore that already exists in the franchise. They destroyed the actual actress face, bro. Holy crap. Man, the actress is, uh, if you Google her, uh, she is pretty, though, uh, in, in comparison to this. million times better than... Look at that damn, bro. Shit, man. Like... I feel bad. Look at that jawline right there. Damn, man. Damn, bro. Like they did her dirty, bro. This is this is abysmal, bro. I'd be I'd be feeling some kind of way about it too, bro. Damn, homie. Damn. Take your right hand. Take your left hand. Send a prayer, bro. Like it's over, bro. Check out this video on the screen, guys. Like this is the last episode that we've done. Okay. This thing is going crazy right now. Concord, apparently, we have this situation. Apparently, this is what we're hearing. 200 grand per player is what they lost, is how much they lost. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We got a crazy drama, man. Crazy.